Hey everybody. Today we're talking about QQ plots in R. Remember, a QQ plot is a qualitative way of assessing whether or not sample data could plausibly have been drawn from some given distribution, typically a normal distribution. I have a whole vid on the ideas behind QQ plots. I'll throw a link up top. Here we're going to focus on generating them in R, particularly using the ggplot2 package. I've already loaded that up along with the rest of the tidyverse packages with library tidyverse and pulled up the help file for the basic functions we're going to be using, geomqq and geomqqline. I've also set a seed so that, our, um, so that my code should be replicable for you at home. So let's start out just by, by generating some random numbers from a standard normal distribution, getting a qq plot, and hopefully seeing that they fall more or less along the line y equals x. So um, let's name the vector norms, and let's get just 200 values from the standard normal distribution. Now, the most rough and ready, um, fast way of getting a QQ plot in R is just with the qplot command, as you might expect. And you just have to specify the sample argument. So in this case, it's norms. There we go. R is going to assume that we're talking about a standard normal distribution. Now, of course, qplot is um, not generally the way you want to go. Usually, you don't just have a vector of data. You're working with a whole data frame. And so you want to use the ggplot command. So let's convert the norms vector into a column of a data frame and actually use that ggplot command. So um, I'll use the very creative name df for my data frame. And I just want one column norms. OK. So let's replicate that QQ plot that we've already generated with, uh, with the qplot command. ggplot df aes, as usual. And um, the aesthetic we need to specify for a QQ plot is the sample. Again, it's norms. And we need to add the geom qq. So that gives us exactly the same plot. While we're at it, let's go ahead and add a QQ line to this. with the geom qq line geom. There we go. Now you'll see that it's not exactly the line of best fit here. And the reason for that is, if I go back to the help file, that geom qq line is generating the lines using the data that falls in the middle two quantiles of the data. So that's that line.p argument. And you can modify that if you're so inclined. OK. Um, notice that there seems to be a little bit of right skew in this data. You can see that by the upward inflection at the lower left-hand side of this um, QQ plot. Let's, uh, let's see that really quickly. Let's see it directly just by plotting a histogram of the data. And um, I'll just use a Q plot here to do it super fast. There we go. You can see that rightward skew. Now, frequently in world, world, real world applications, you might have data that's spread across multiple groups. And you need to check whether the data is normally distributed in each of those groups. So let's see how we might do that. Let's add a column to our data frame with some grouped data. So how about df dollar group for the name of that? And let's do some random sampling from the vector 1 to 3. We'll need 200 values, and we'll have to replace as we go. Um, this is going to give me a numeric vector for that column, so I'm actually going to want to convert that into a factor. I don't want it to be treated as numeric data. Okay, great. So um, now you can see we have two variables in our data frame. So let's get a ggplot now again. And again, we'll have the sample be the norms. But this time, let's, um, let's let color be given by the group. And we'll keep the geom qq and the geom qq line. If I can type properly. There we go. So since all the data is coming from the same distribution in this case, everything's kind of overlapping. Um, let's go ahead and get these as side-by-side -side plots. Let's just make things a tiny bit more beautiful while we're at it. So let's do a facet wrap. And let's do it according to the group aesthetic. And uh, while we're at it, let's get a better theme. I'll use minimal. 
And um, let's get some slightly better colors. Scale color brewer. And let's use the dark two palette. That's sometimes one I really like. And it should be group, not groups. There we go. And so you can see within each one of those groups, we have a reasonable, reasonable fit to that normal distribution. Okay, so um, one other thing that we should talk about is how to get a QQ plot for a distribution other than the standard normal distribution. This isn't such a big deal if you're looking at a different normal distribution. Um, all that does is change the, the slope and intercept of your QQ line. It doesn't change the particular shape of the graph, so you can just use these same commands. But um, let's suppose that we have some data generated from, say, a chi-squared distribution. So um, how about chi-squared is r chi-squared. And again, let's get 200, and let's do it from the distribution with 4 degrees of freedom. We'd like to get a QQ plot for this data. So um, let's go ahead and make a data frame out of it. And go ahead and get our GG plot for this one. Sample is chi squared in this case. I should have picked a variable name that wasn't also a function in R. All right, so geome QQ. This time we need to let R know that we're not trying to deal with um, a normal distribution by specifying the distribution command, or the distribution argument. Um, in this case, we want q chi squared. Notice the q um, in front, the quantiles. This is the inverse cumulative distribution function for the chi squared distribution. Now, of course, there's still one thing missing, and that's the number of degrees of freedom. So we have to specify that with d params. And by the way, you can see all of this in the help file here. Um, for instance, right here. So. You don't just have to memorize it right now. Um, now, different distributions have different numbers of, of um, parameters that need to be specified, so we have to pass d params as a list, even if, as in this case, we only have um, one parameter to specify. It's df, and we want four degrees of freedom. So let's see what we get. Okay, so that's a reasonable fit to the to the line y equals x. We can do um, a QQ line exactly the same way. I'm just going to take the geom QQ, copy and paste it, and turn it into a geom QQ line. Okay, there we go. Looks like a reasonable fit for the chi-squared distribution with four degrees of freedom.